For the whole month, we're discussing abstinence. And for this particular week, we're talking about the actual abstinence on its influence on sperm quality, i.e. how are you going to be remain abstinence and will that improve or decrease your sperm quality? The WHO or the World Health Organization recognizes that for a man to be fertile, you need three parameters to be healthy. Number one, the number of sperm to be more than 15 million per male. Number two, all the sperms, at least 40% of them are swimming actively. Number three, there are in at least 4% of these sperms actually have got good morphology with proper head, proper neck and proper tail. And that is perceived as a normal fertile man. So, exactly what does WHO say about abstinence? Well, you can find the data from men who decide to donate their sperms and then prior to the sperm analysis, you're told to be abstinent between 2 to 7 days. So exactly what is the sign saying? In fact, if you are remaining abstinent for two days, then you realize that the sperm number increased in concentration, but the actual number of normal sperm with morphology and also activeness decreases as the time go along. So we have the data of abstinence for two days, for 5 days, 7 days, and 11 to 14 days. We realize that the concentration may increase with the number of days of abstinence, but the quality decreases a little bit. There's a 1995 data that actually shows that if men have sex at least 5 days prior to ovulation date on a daily basis, for a normal person with normal sperm cows, the chances of pregnancy is about 25%. If you have sex on alternate day basis, the chance doesn't decrease so much by at least 22%. So what does that tell us? It tells us that it actually probably doesn't make that much difference. On one hand, the abstinence itself increases the concentration. On the other hand, the number of sperms itself may not be so active and when they get older and may not be so morphologically normal when they get older. In fact, there are some studies to show that the longer the abstinence is, the quality of sperms with the DNA fragmentations actually increases, meaning that some of the sperms may not be so good for fertilization. In line with abstinence, next week we're going to talk about if you choose to be abstinence or if you choose to actually ejaculate outside because you don't really want to use barrier technique and you don't really want to use any form of contraceptions and what are the chances of contraception with abstinence and also the actual withdrawal technique so if you want to find out as a method of contraception then you stay tuned for next week putting dr g on the spot